Energy Center, Dave Koss and Friends Christmas Show. We got Dave Koss, Dave Benoit, Sheila E, and Javier Colon kicking it tonight. It's amazing. Great show, great performances, phenomenal band, and you have all access pass. Come check it out. Can I just say amazing? On, a, on an amazing tour. We had a chance to sit down with Carl Griffin, co-producer of the Jazz Roots series. I started this uh, five years ago in Miami, Florida. And my role is the educational part. Um, I MC the shows with the kids. Um, I also book all the acts for the for the Jazz Roots concert series. So I deal with the agents, the managers, the artists. I deal with the, the performing arts centers, uh, education person. Tonight we have Dave Kaz and friends. Um, some of the musicians have been shaking David Benoit, Sheila E. Dave Kaz and Really, really great group of people. They're going to open It's a wonderful thing to put together. But again, the most important aspect of it is the education aspect of it. Bringing these kids here to watch a, a sound check, to interact with the artists, it's, it's a, an invaluable part of what we do. Can you guys hear me? Hello? Welcome, everybody. Thank you very much for coming. There's a whole lot of you. One guy's really dressed up. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry. We're just going to do our sound check and. Uh, Pick up some questions and we'll visit with you in a little bit, okay? And it gives them something to go home with and talk to their parents about. Because most of their parents have never been to a performing arts center. So they dad, mom, I went to this performing arts center. I got on stage and played with, with um, the Dave Cars. You know, that means a lot. That's those kind of life altering. And there were some kids that came up to the piano after the presentation and uh, they, wanted, they wanted to play, they wanted to talk to me. And, and you know, it's just was easy to when I can tell the ones that really, you know, there's some that are there just because they have to be, but there are others that really get how much this means. And then th th we can pass that knowledge on. They, we weren't allowed to pass the knowledge on. And that's what, that's the bad thing. You know, that's what happened. That we cannot, we were allowed to pass on the knowledge that we knew from the, from the great, from the greats. I learned from Barry Gordy. Come on, I learned from, you know, Gamble and Huff. Those are the guys I learned from. David Benoit. Hello, David. Hello. What advice can you give us on becoming the best musician you can be? Joshua, where's Joshua? All right. Hi. Hi, Joshua. The best musician you can be? Well, other than practice all the time. Practice, um, practice. Yeah, that, that's, that's part of it. But also, a uh, good idea is to do as much listening as possible. Maybe go out to hear concerts, uh, listen to what we used to call listen to records. Listen, I don't know, listen to your, download a lot of music on iTunes. Try to listen to all kinds of music too, all different kind of varieties. And then uh, another component is to be a musician, be really prepared. Like this particular gig is very, very tough. And I'll tell you why, because it's so many styles. You have to know straight ahead jazz, you, for, especially for the bass player and drummer, uh, rock and roll, country music, show music, Broadway show tunes, Christmas music, of course, uh, and everything in between. There's a, a wide variety of music, and sometimes you have to be able to be a really good sight reader. And how many piano know. players are out here, by the way? How many piano players know jazz? Play jazz. <laughs> you do? Yeah. You know jazz? Yeah, a couple. Come on, come up here. Come up here, come, <laughs> on. come up here, come on up here. Also talked with members of Dave Cause's production crew. I work for Dave Cause directly on this tour, and Dave and I start writing the show in July and coming up with the music and how we want the pacing to go. And he reaches out to the artists and find out what artists want to do certain songs, and then we kind of hopefully push them in directions that we want them to go a little bit. And uh, 
just start writing the show really and go through that process. Then we go into rehearsals in November and start doing music rehearsals and all that. And then right after that, we go to the first city, wherever that is, for a couple days and do all the lighting and sound and rehearsals and kick it off. It's our main goal is trying to keep things consistent, which keeps things safe and keeps them happy and they get to perform and do the same show every night and keep it consistent for the audience. You know, we have a regular band, we use Dave's band, and then uh, I help with arranging the, the music uh, for the artists. Everybody, they do some of their own music, plus they're doing Christmas songs that they nef hasn't, haven't necessarily performed live before. Maybe they had a Christmas album, or uh, or some of these arrangements are, are special just for this show. Okay. So we, we do some unique uh, arrangements, and some of them are ones you've heard before, and it's a combination of all that. I mix the front of house sound for the audience in different venues across the country. So everything that we hear out here in, as an audience is because of what you're doing right there? Uh, right. Well, they, it starts there with the guys, and then I just make it louder. It, the best, as most accurately as I can, to represent what they're putting out. <laughs> Some of the difficulties we have is different rooms. Every room is different, so you have to come in pretty early in the morning to set up and tune the system because it's new to us almost every day. So this is the front of house console. It's called the front of house console, and um, basically it takes all the inputs on stage from all the different band members and amplifies them. Uh, I am the tour manager, which is basically like a glorified babysitter. No, I'm kidding. Uh, basically, all the logistics, hotel, travel, uh, payroll, paperwork, you name it, that's me. It's more behind the scenes, but I basically get people from A to B and all the points in between. Right. So who's the problem person on this tour? They're actually, on this tour, there are no problem people. Everybody is beyond sweet and super comfortable with it. We do, we're doing 26, 27 shows in 33 days, so. Yeah. We kind of have to be a, a really close family on this one. So we've all seen each other naked so far. It's no big deal. Okay. Uh, it takes a team to do to do many things. Uh, it just not just one person that is able to, uh, you know, do it like they say. Oh, it's, it was me. It was me. But it really takes a team. It takes a village to be able to accomplish this. Like like you see here. It's a lot of people behind the scenes that makes this happen. So as far as being a band leader, you know, it's it's not just a band leader. It's just being involved and being a team player was important. Uh, Larry and I co got in contact back in 1979, and uh, we continued all the relationship into the 90s. And then he decided to do, you know, he said, let's do a concert series. Said, okay, how do we do this? Mm -hmm. And neither one of us knew how to do this. And we, uh, we got a jazz roots committee down in Miami. And we put all these ideas together. And we decided to do thematic shows. Mm -hmm. um, a theme like show like uh, Vocal Leagues or Super Sax, okay. where you have two artists on the show and they, we bring them together to do portions of the show together. And it's different than just bringing in one jazz artist at a time. You know, jazz, when you mention jazz to people, they think, okay, it's a jazz show, and okay, it's Bangalang, whatever that is. And you don't sell out. But if you put two artists like you had with the first show here, that was a smashing success. Yeah. So that's that's a, that's the concept, thematic shows. This is incredible. It's a really incredible thing, and, and something again we never thought it was going to grow this large. But again, you know, jazz is an important part of our, of American history. And you know, once you once you let the people know, you know, jazz is not just bebop. You know, it's other, it can be Latin jazz. So it's you know, it's just so much in jazz. People say, oh wow, you know, okay, I like jazz. You know, I re I didn't know I liked jazz, right. but I like jazz. You know, there's a great thing about jazz is it's an it's an open uh, uh, it's an art form that's open. It, it, it always evolves and changes, and it includes all kinds of music. There's jazz, it's rock. There's jazz, it's uh, R&B and funky and and, uh, and that's what I love about it. And the evening culminated with Dave Koz and friends taking the stage. This included 
fabulous performances by pianist David Benoit, percussionist Sheila E., and special guest vocalist Javier Colon, winner of The Voice Season 1. energy Christmas music, spontaneous, fun, collaboration. I've already used nine sentences, sorry. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a great group of people, uh, so much talent on the stage. You know, just the fact that uh, that I'm on, a, on an amazing tour, I'm getting to travel the country and travel the world, getting to do what I love to do, when a year and a half ago, I couldn't pay my bills because I wasn't, I couldn't get people in the seats to watch my shows or to see me sing, no one knew that I existed, you know, so uh, it's, a, it's a blessing and I'm very thank the opportunity that I was given and uh, for the progress that I made. been asking about the Peanuts theme, and of course you'll hear that. Yes. And then a couple of a couple other songs from the uh, Charlie Brown TV special I'm going to play, and then um, you know we'll be playing, of course, a lot of Dave's songs and Christmas songs, some real fun ones, some really different, unique arrangements. And I think you'll be so hearing sorry. Sheila E too. So. I am so sorry. Percussion-wise, I try to stay out of the way and be able to play in the holes where they're not playing or else play right on time with them. And every song is different. Um, it depends on what kind or what type of music, what genre of music we're playing. But uh, it's really, the key is listening to each other. It's like having a conversation. My dad is a musician. He's a band leader. He's been that all of his life. So. I was influenced by what he was doing. Um, for me, I love every single part of the entertainment business, and I say business, um, because I didn't just want to be a percussion player or a drummer. I wanted to try to do everything. We're all buddies out here. Mm -hmm. You spend a lot Quite of time, to know each other much more time well. hanging out than there is playing, so actually performing. Amazing night. Dave Koz, Dave Benoit, Sheila E. They just tore it down. Javier Cologne, the winner of the first voice program. Ah, oh, just phenomenal. What an amazing group. I'm just, it was great. Thanks for being here. See you next time. Peace. uplifting and it's getting me into the holiday season. The concert has been awesome. Uh, between Sheila E, Dave Paz, and is it Javier? Excellent. I like Sheila E and I like the Javier Colon, the new star from The Voice. Excellent. Dave Paz Christmas concert is the best. Great show. Lots of uh, great Christmas songs, well entertained and good performers here tonight. Very good show. This is for my 31st birthday. I'm having a fabulous time. I played the Sex Honor High School, so this is like going back to my roots. It's awesome. Great event. This concert is really, it's so well put together. Uh, and we're loving every second of it. Look forward to coming each year. I love the show. It's totally awesome. Dave Cotton, Shirley. Oh my God. Yeah, they're like 
I am such a big fan now. I was kind of a fan, but now I'm like a huge fan. Like, so great. Shuli, gotta get, gotta go down. Jane Cos, she's doing this thing. I love her. They inspired us with dance students that we learned, and they inspired us to play instruments more. We'd like to send out a special thank you to the following. This is Tommy Berry, and you're watching All Access Pass on Best of Atlanta Concerts TV.